Good afternoon, welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. My name is Rich, we're here with Lulu, and we're gonna demonstrate all the obedience commands we've taught and reinforced while she was with us at school, and the training equipment that we're using. Typically, we use a standard six-foot web training leash. We keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in our right hand, which leaves our left hand free to make little corrections. And the little corrections we give are a little tug and release on our training collar. You're gonna have a couple options to help you at home with her barking in the hallways and barking at neighbors and, and such. You'll notice that Lulu is seated very nicely at my left, which is all traditional training starts. Hey, no, sit. Which is where training typically starts and stops. Now we're doing our training inside because our training arm is a sheet of ice right now, but this is good because a lot of your issues are indoor matters. So the first thing we're going to demonstrate for you is her ability to walk nicely on a leash. Always at your left, watch my hand placement on the leash and the command is Lulu heel. Ready? Lulu, heel. Whenever we stop, we expect Lulu. We expect her to sit <laughs> and wait for another command. Ready? And you can see we're using a little clicker, which basically reinforces her good behavior. So when we stop, we expect her to sit. If she doesn't, we'll say no. Sit with a little correction. Ready? Lulu, you. And you can see that clearly. She loves it. She's not barking, but she's very vocal. And of course, how do you miss that little rear and that little nub going? I mean, she's so sweet and so adorable. Nice automatic sit again. Little treat. You don't have to use a treat every time. A lot of times we'll just say a little verbal praise, a little scratch on the chest for a reward. We're going to take off healing and then we'll do a sit stay. Lulu, you. Day. Now with your stationary commands at home, and again practice these inside because she's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I mean she's a sweetheart, but practice your commands right inside your living room, dining room area, doesn't have to be any bigger than this, stay, but it's going to help her kind of, you know, learn a little bit about pack status and, and just be a better listener at home. So have her hold this sit stay for 30 seconds, working up to three minutes, and I'm going to call her, and the idea is that she comes to me and then sits. Ready? Little come. Go ahead. Very good. So again, she did exactly what we wanted. Little click, and, and more for video purposes, a little bit of a treat. We're going to do that again. Ready? Little you. Stay. Stay. Again, 30 seconds working up to three minutes. If you're working indoors, you can drop the leash or get a longer training lead for Lulu. So you can really kind of push the boundaries 10, 15, 20 feet away. Again, I'm going to call her. Happy voice. Lulu, come. Good girl. And the little treats I'm giving her are like the size of a, an acorn. I mean, tiny, but a lot of motivation. Ready? God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> so, one of the most difficult things that we've kind of found with Lulu, and a lot of times we see it with our corgis, our dachshunds, I mean, honestly, it's like the down command. And it sounds kind of silly because they're so low to the ground, but it's true. We've taken Lulu, and I know a lot of the issues were barking in close quarters and stuff like that. We've taken her on field trips around our local merchants that allow us to have our dogs there for training. Um, so she's done really good. And one thing I want to mention, too, and I'm sure I'll tell you when you get here, is that follow-up training is important. So if you need us in the future, call us. We'll come out and work with you at home. So the down command. What we use is a little fleece, or a blanket, or a bed, or something that's kind of a designated area for her to lay down on. It really, really does help. It sounds kind of silly sometimes, but you also use it for service dog training. So what I have over here is a little fleece that we use for bedding or something like that, but this is hers so she knows what to do. Um, and so I will lay it out. 
she jumped right on it because she knows. And then again, having her seated first is important. Um, and then with her seated, ready? Down. No. Down. No. Down. Good. Good. And so she knows it. I mean, she's Lulu and she's going to be a little bit stubborn. Um, but that's going to be your biggest, I think, connection with the down for her and be able to do it at home. Put a little bed or a blanket or something like that out for her. Um, really, it makes all the difference in the world. And with your down stays at home, again, your sit stays are 30 seconds working up to three minutes. Your down stays should be a little bit longer. Maybe a minute working up to five. Obviously, you're not going to get to five for a while. She's done a really, really great job. We've owned Corgis in the past, and we're so happy to have her here. And we want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company. And we can't wait to see you in a couple hours. Thanks again.